Thursday the 1st of April, 46-year-old Paul Klozowski was sentenced to 34 years in prison for murdering his son and his son's girlfriend. It all started on the 22nd of August at a family barbecue at Paul's property located in Mount McIntyre in South Australia. His 19-year-old son, Lukas Klozowski, and his 19-year-old girlfriend, Chelsea Island, attended the family function. Although Chelsea felt uneasy about going, she went anyway to support her boyfriend. Paul had drunk at least one carton of beer that night, and he got into an argument with his son. He got so pissed that he loaded his shotgun and killed his son. Before firing through a locked bathroom door at Chelsea, he was on the phone to emergency services. Paul's wife and her children had run outside and were hiding in a small alcove at the rear of the property. When the authorities arrived, Paul was sitting with a firearm on his lap. Chelsea and Lukash were both shot from close range in the chest. Police found Lukash's body face down on a bed, and Chelsea in a bathtub with her phone. Paramedics pronounced them dead at 12.40am on the 23rd of August. During the trial, Paul cried for acting like a monster, and said he didn't understand why he killed two wonderful young people. The world would be a better place if I shot myself instead, he said. After the judge sentenced Paul to 34 years in prison, family and friends shouted, You're finished, and fuck you. You won't be eligible for parole until he turns 80. A man was found guilty on Tuesday for murdering his ex-partner in a jealous rage and then attempting to kill her underage lover. The incident occurred around 8.10pm on the 15th of November 2020. Neighbours CCTV captures 50-year-old Paul Robson stalking his ex-partner, 47-year-old Caroline Kale's home, in Linton, North Cumberland for a few minutes before glancing over a gate. He turned up to her house to confront her over the sexual relationship she was having with a 15-year-old boy. When he arrived at the home, she let him in. He then grabbed her, causing bruises to her arm. He then punched her, and she fell to the ground. He stood over her when he repeatedly kicked her in the face and head with steel cap boots, fracturing the bones in her face and causing a cardiac arrest and a fatal brain injury. He then chopped her hair off and slashed her buttocks with a knife and poured ammonia solution over the top of her. He then approached the young boy who was upstairs and bit him four times before spraying him with ammonia solution. He repeatedly attacked the boy, first with scissors, then with a kitchen knife, and then with a meat cleaver. He was hit so hard in the face with a meat cleaver that he broke a bone. Paul later sped off from the scene and was captured on surveillance footage, refueling at a petrol station. Paul and Caroline had previously lived together, but split up weeks before the murder. He blackmailed her out of £35,000 when he found out about her illegal relationship. The two originally met in prison where she worked, and he was a prisoner, and the two became romantically involved, although Caroline was married at the time. Paul was found guilty of murder, as well as a string of other indictable offences, and was sentenced to serve a minimum of 35 years in jail. A mass shooting at a business complex in Orange, California on Wednesday evening has led to four people, including a child, being killed, while the gunman and another person were injured. Very few details were immediately available about the victim's or potential motive for the shooting. The authorities received a call of shots fired at around 5.30pm and responded to the building located at 202 West Lincoln Avenue. The beige two-story complex opens onto an inner courtyard, circled by several businesses. The larger neighbourhood consists of homes, apartments, and other commercial properties. When the officers arrived, they encountered gunshots fired, and they engaged with the suspect. The shooter was taken to hospital with a gunshot wound, and was listed in a critical condition. It was unclear if the wound was self-inflicted, or if he was struck by a police gunfire. A firearm was recovered at the scene and there's no current threat to the public. The other person injured was a woman who was listed in a critical condition, and no officers were injured at the scene. An owner West Virginia man is accused of attacking a greeter at a Barbersville Walmart. The incident occurred on Tuesday when 32-year-old Joshua Allen Atkins entered the popular store and attacked the greeter standing near the exit. He struck the man nearly 15 times, until the victim fell to the floor. Whilst on the floor, Joshua then got on top of the man and continued laying punches into him before leaving the store and driving away in his vehicle. The victim didn't know the attacker and has never seen him before. There was no indication of what the motive of the attack was either. Joshua was tracked down and arrested 
and has been charged with battery and malicious wounding. He's been held in the Western Regional Jail in Barbersville on a $51,500 bond while he awaits trial.